the ecological imperative one scaring myself what is the bane of the man in the current era of over information and under understanding i fear it is he himself the breeding man and like all sources of error unlikely to recognize himself as his own nemesis he breeds like a rat unmindful of his being the plague to the world around and to himself as well he struts around on his little dunghill wishing power over ever larger heaps of refuse he calls marketable products feverishly replicating his pathetic little self over ever increasing pock marks on the face of this the otherwise beautiful planet earth consuming ever greater expanses of living panoramas and replacing them with saleable and unsaleable deserts of death congratulating himself mistakenly for having conquered nature a minuscule part of which he himself actually is funny how it escapes him that no part which militates against its whole ever survives to tell the tale the infected appendix having surgically severed and dumped the body that once housed it like the rat breeding uncontrollably unlike the rat living to consume before long what always happens will happen the plague that is the breeding man will perforce outbreed the resources he needs and collapse at the altar of his exponentially growing wants do solutions exist of course they do does he know them of course he does will he implement them of course not at least not until he has received a real scare and hopefully while he still has 
the wherewithal to correct his course without too much pain, avoiding an almost certain catastrophic unraveling of his ever more complicated dreams of his own now near non-existent future. Can he still dream? Of course, yes. Just that the dreams must be simpler, more internal, more beautiful. Gandhis of near sovereign villages, Buddhas of spiritual near asceticism, my own perhaps of intentional family near non-procreative. The rats pausing momentarily from their race must protest. The race must go on. What race? Why must it go on? If man can reduce other species to extinction how can he find unjust restrictions on his own consumption and reproduction, especially when adopted to save himself from extinction? And unless he wakes up in this the dark long midnight of his inhumanity and edits his dream, his whole, the almighty nature might, unbeknownst to him, choose to get the pest exterminated.